Hey everybody, welcome back to 3Sport. Uh, great day today, we're getting better, getting some drills done, learning the fundamentals of football. Uh, today I want to talk about the, the quarterback's posture underneath the center in a center quarterback exchange, getting ourselves nice and comfortable, athletic, uh, able to see and read defenses uh, so we can execute and do what we're supposed to with the play. Uh, the basis of this is what we look like under the center and having the ability to take a step and push off away from the center as he exits so we can execute the play uh, that we need to run here. It's really important to me, we're going to get in camp snap posture here, that I, I want Colin to look as athletic as possible here, meanwhile being able to maybe potentially communicate with his coach or his other players or see what the defenders are doing, uh, it, you know, whatever process we have to get this play run, he needs to be in a comfortable position, okay? So I like a little bit of bend in the knees and the hips, okay? I like the shoulder blades pulled back a little bit, almost throwing his chest out, and I want the feet underneath his armpits. Let's tighten them down a little bit here. Okay, now, the reason why I enjoy this better is because we can get on the balls of our feet and work off of our big toes to get in that athletic position that we want to move. It doesn't matter if you're hitting a baseball or if you're pitching or you're shooting a free throw, this spot right here is where we move from. And that's what we want to do when we want to crawl up underneath the center, okay? So we'll reach out and get in comfortable position to take our snap, and this is a pretty good spot right here, okay? He looks comfortable in his hips and his knees, and I think he can move out of there. Now, if you're coaching younger kids, relax. If you're coaching younger kids, middle school, you know, you might have a center that's a little shorter and the quarterback's really got to go down there and get to that center's tail end. If that's the case, we want to bend at the hips and knees to get underneath there and not be bent over at the waist with an ostrich with our head in the ground, okay? So try to work on those comfortable uh, angles and comfortable movements to be athletic underneath the center. So let's look at it here one more time. Now, just like that. Now we're gonna say go, and in this point, Colin is gonna take what we call a cheat step. If we know we're stepping to the right with our footwork out of the center, right in the immediate before he says go in his cadence, he will just start to lean out of there with that right foot. So it's go, go, all right? Uh, let's take a look at that here. Let's see what that looks like. Go. Good. Now cheat a little bit earlier and land on your big toe. Go. Good. Try it over here. I want you two going at the same time. Okay. Now step with your left foot this time. Go. Go. Good. Now the earlier, the better, right? Go. I mean, I've said go. I'm athletic right here on this foot, on this leg, and my foot is reached out there. Okay, let's try it one more time. Keep going on both sides here. Let's take a look at it. Good. Land on your big toe with your toe down. All right, like that. One more time. Switch places. Let's see these other two guys do it. This is called a cheat step, okay? You can do it. You can reach underneath the dining room table at home or the bar stool. Put your hands up underneath there and go. Go. All right, so just crack off a few here and let's get see what it looks like. Okay, good. All right, now, I want better posture, tail down, bend to his knees, eyes up. We are always looking out here, okay? We gotta see what's going on. We're the man, we're the quarterback. We have to look out here and see what's going on. Do it one more time. Keep going here, Carr, get some reps in. Carson, eyes up. Go. There you go, good. Go. The cheat step, the posture, it's comfortable, it's athletic. Now, where we take that first step, depending on the play that we're running, what kind of offense that we're running. We might be stepping down the line. We might be stepping at three quarters. We might be stepping straight back for drop back pass. Let's get movement cheated towards the play to help us get the advantage that we need with snap count. 